fantasy check-in time now for the Brooklyn Nets. And let's get and let's try and find out a player, or I guess give my best guess of a guy who might be traded on this team. It's a little bit harder to find that guy on this team, but there is a bunch of players who are unrestricted free agents. Damari, Carroll, Jared Dudley. Ed Davis, they're all unrestricted free agents. But the guy that I do want to talk about here is Rondé Hollis Jefferson, who will be a restricted free agent. He's been injured pretty much all season, dealing with uh, multiple groin injuries. He hasn't looked anywhere near close to their best or second best or third best player. You can make the argument, D'Angelo Russell, Spencer Dinwiddie, Karis LeVert, Jarrett Allen, that in terms of players on this team, that he's down at fifth. And then maybe in terms of prospects, Rowdy Rodion's Kuroks is even a better option. Smoke and Joe Harris could be ahead of him as well. There's a bunch of guys that I think that I would have over Hollis Jefferson and the Nets may as well. So I think that he is a sneaky chance to be traded by this team. Um, yeah, before restricted free agency hits, the other guy we'd look at is Damari Carroll on an expiring deal, age of 33. I'm not sure that will actually happen and he would bring back much in terms of assets. But Hollis Jefferson is the guy that I would look at. And then in that case, that would give a lot more value to Kuroks in terms of his value moving forward and even for deeper leagues, Trevion Graham. Now, Kuroks at the moment is a, is a fringe 12-team league guy, more of a must-roster 14-team league guy. And I think that in a 14-team, if he was available, and he's available in 94% of leagues, he's a guy that I'd have a look at just grabbing just in case one of these moves. Because even if it is Kuroks, if it's Carroll, if they somehow find a way to to get off Alan Crabb as well. All that is going to do is open up minutes for Kuroks as well. So I think that he's the guy that stands to benefit from any of these scenarios going down, and that would be the way that I'm looking at it. But I'm a little bit worried about Rondé Hollis-Jefferson's future in Brooklyn.